Hey guys, Mr. Man here with another Minecraft tutorial, and today's tutorial is the automatic wheat farm tutorial with hoppers. Alright, so let's get to it. So this is what your finished product is going to look like. Not that tree over there. Uh, so it's going to have the wheat, the pistons, with the water. The pistons will go down by push of this lever, and then it'll wash away all the water. Let it go down into the hopper, into the chest, and then you will find your wheat. So an example is here. Let's go. It's all the way down. Yeah, seed might get stuck up there. Goes into the hopper. Goes all the way down into the chest. All right. So yeah, that's how it's gonna look. All right. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to build it. All right. So what you're gonna need for this video is a hopper so maybe however much you want a piston or a sticky piston redstone redstone repeaters a lever any block that you want so I'm just gonna use oak for this one but you can use like coal <laughs> or something like that birch bedrock you know gold diamonds whatever you want to do water buckets and just some regular buckets if you want a chest and a hoe to plow the soil. Alright, so I'm just going to build it right here. So I'll leave it all level, so I'm just going to make it too wide. So, you know, you could make it four wide, but the chests, double chests don't go by each other, which is really stupid. I really wish they could make like a triple chest, something like that. That would be really cool. But anyway, so I'm just going to make it two. So, one, two. So there's going to be one, it's going to be a double chest down here, the hopper's going to go there. And then I'm going to make one more, one, two. Alright, I just want to make your walls, it's not going to be that wide, or I mean long, so. This is just going to make so the water doesn't overflow over the thing, and so that you can plow the soil. And so that you can make your pistons go up. So there's your walls. I'm just gonna go. All right, so let's see now. Then you're gonna want to go. Actually, no, you don't have to build up a layer. You can actually take one off, but break down a little square here. Maybe kind of like that. Put your double chest on the bottom. Both of these. Get your hopper, and when you shift click and put it right there it actually goes on because if you just regular right click it'll just go in the chest i learned this from stalker zombies video so thank you stalker zombie all right since i messed up on this by an accident let's go ahead fill it in with some dirt all right there you go then oops other side so now you can technically place anything on a chest even a torch so yeah pretty cool Alright, now you want the pistons, so now you have to make your water container. So, put the wood three back on all the sides. Two, three. One, two, three. Oops. Well, doesn't really matter, I guess. Oops. Then you want to make it go on the side. Alright, then just build up some more. Doesn't really care about matching right now, but just... You know what I'm saying. Then get your pistons, place them right there, because then they'll push up, and then the top of it will go up here. And fill up on the bottom one, and put the back up. Alright. There you go. There you go. Alright. So there is your water containment once you put that. Now I'll do the redstone. Break the bottom one. Don't need it. You don't, you don't have to break the middle one, though. So, I believe this is the water. Yeah. So, don't break that one. Break the one under it. Because the block under the piston will actually transfer the redstone current up to the piston, which will allow it to, you know, do its work. Anyway, so, then do the same thing you did on that side to this side. Put your two repeaters here, facing the block that's below the piston. Connect the redstone with it. Yeah, all that fancy jazz. There you go. Oops, and then connect it all, or just, there you go, my redstone wiring is really weird. 
come over, bring it around town, bring it around, bring it around, and put your lever, I don't know, wherever you want, out there, you can put it there. And now, I'm just gonna put a couple repeaters so, you know, power goes a bit faster. Oh, doesn't make it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go, they pushed up. Now you can fill in your water. So I'll place in your water. Let's see water buckets. Alright. So when you push the lever again, the water shall come down and push it to the bottom. See as I messed up right there? Not good, not good. So I didn't make it go fully, so let me just fix that quickly. Just, just, hopper, 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 hopper. And now the water will come down, just to make sure. Get my hoe ready. There, it's coming right into there. Alright, so now you want to go get a gold hoe, diamond hoe, whatever you want. I'm going to be classic and go with the wooden hoe. There we go. Alright, now you know what to do. Be a farmer, plow all the dirt. Sometimes the dirt comes back, but oh well. Grab your seeds. Fill her up. Seeds. There we go. I'm just going to make a quick bone meal. The one thing I don't like with the new update is how bone meal doesn't take one to make the plant or tree grow. It takes actually a few. But you know, it's more realistic now, I'd say. Alright, there we go. Coming, coming, coming. Alright. They are all done except this one over here. Hello, buddy. Alright, there you go. Alright. Now, since you got all your wheats grown, it's the end of the day almost. Push the lever start breaking all the wheat all the wheat will go into the hoppers down to your chest and then from that chest once it's all in there go there take all your wheat go to bed so thanks for watching guys i hope you liked the video if you liked it please give us a thumbs up maybe so give us a subscribe you know if you need any help with minecraft or in the game or just have a question in general put it in the comments and i will answer it as soon as possible so thanks guys for watching, and tune in for my next video. Bye! Stalker. Bye!